Hi everyone and welcome to a play-by-play -play broadcast of the Sudbury Voyagers. I'm the Hockey Man. If you're enjoying the content, enjoying the games, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. That way you don't miss out on any LU hockey action. Pretty simple. I know you can do it. I believe in you. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the games we've got on the schedule today. So we're playing the Chicago Blackhawks and Minnesota Wild and we'll stop at the Anaheim Ducks. A pretty strong team this year. We'll see if the Voyagers have anything left in the tank as we march towards the playoffs. And the answer to that is, I don't know. We won 4-3 in overtime against the Chicago Blackhawks and then answered back with a 4-3 loss. A dominating game on the shot clock, but just not able to pull out a single point. And now we're going to find out if they can do it against Anaheim. The race for the playoffs is in full swing as the Voyagers head out west to play the Anaheim Ducks, one of the top teams in the league. The Anaheim roster was revamped at the trade deadline as they solidified themselves as true cup contenders. Phoenix Copley, who played 50 games in the minors before joining the Voyagers and starting his second with Sudbury tonight, in need of a better outcome after allowing four goals and getting bold against the Oilers. And down the other end is longtime Anaheim Duck John Gibson in net, wanting to keep the mojo going as we near the postseason. Josh Manson and Ken Fowler, two key pieces on the Ducks' blue line, are left out because of injury. We'll see if the Voyagers are feeling a little lucky on this St. Patrick's Day special and we come and can come away with two crucial points with only a dozen games left on the schedule. Scramble on the neutral zone and finally it's Henrik who breaks out. Tatar shot off the post! What a chance for Thomas Tatar. And there's a delayed penalty coming up. Kapanen takes a shot. That's blocked out of sight by John Gibson, and we will get the call. And the Voyagers come away alive. Schmaltz, right side, Zabanejad, he's got Lawton with him. Across the line, that makes its way on Gibson. Not sure if Lawton got his shot off, but it stays out. He won't force a pass, he'll skate it in. Stops up top of a circle, here's a shot by Trocek. A chance there, and Hoffman on the one-timer is gloved down by John Gibson. Indeed, now Zadorov coughs it up. Here's Tatar, a shot stick saved by Copley. In the corner, Raquel. And it's finally moved back out by the Voyagers. Goes back to the point. Shankirk. Duclair, again, it's Comtois moving in to Duclair. Blocker saved by Copley. And puck in the corner. That will do it for this first period of play. We are entering our second frame. We are still scoreless here in Anaheim. A big game for either team. Anaheim in a better position standing-wise. Five points separate these two comparable teams. And we'll see who wants it more here. Zabanejad to Landeskog. Shot kicked away by Gibson. Swung back in front. Zabanejad scores! I guess the message in the Voyager's locker room was to jump right at the Ducks defense make life hard for John Gibson and company and they, ju they do just that Mika Zibanejad sees that loose puck jumps on it and able to fire it past the left glove hand of John Gibson a solid forecheck you see all three players activating one behind the goal line two out front and that's a recipe for success Raquel stopped up by Hamilton Chases him deep and Zabanejad's gonna break out for the Voyagers. Couldn't do it. Raquel in, save made by Copley. And he hangs on to it. He's gonna peel back, goes to Trocek down the left side. Trocek with a move, Hoffman, glove down by Gibson. Off his glove in the corner. Voyagers still on it though. Trocek, Kapanen, looking in. Trocek takes a shot, that's off the leg and wide. Right side to Kapanen. They'll try to generate some speed through the neutral zone. Connor Brown to Sorelli, shot, save made by Gibson. Hoffman to Kappen and another save by Gibson. And it's cleared back down by the Ducks. Good puck movement by the Voyagers. That's a power play acting with a little bit more confidence. And here's a chance, Sorelli off the transition. Stopped by Gibson. I'll be there by Sam Steele, the forward playing defenseman tonight as Manson and Fowler out of the lineup. Here's Dorov off the blue line. Quick shot, almost handcuffed. John Gibson up high. Draw one by Sorelli. It's Foligno. A shot from long range. Handled by Gibson. Goes back up to Brown. Foligno, a spin shot. And a shot, rebound, scores! Anthony Sorelli 
A huge goal for the Warriors. It's 2 0. That adds a little bit of cushion. You talk about a player who's been a little bit snake bent lately. That's Anthony Sorelli. But when you go to the net just like that first goal, you hang around, you dig for pucks, and you're able to find one past John Gibson with the outstretched left leg. What a funny bounce off that backhander off Foligno's shot. They don't ask how, they ask how many, and the Voiders are going to be happy up by two. Landis Cog tries to get across the blue line, gets it to Schmaltz, down low, Trocek stopped by Gibson, puck bouncing around, and Schmaltz is still battling out, away at it. He goes in for a shot, and Gibson covers that trickler. Just outside the zone, but Sorelli brings it back in to Kapanen. He wasn't in a shooting position, and here's a chance. It's Ricard Raquel, a shot. Same made by Copley. Raquel still on it behind the net. Out in front, and Copley able to cut that pass off. A dangerous chance for the Ducks. Blasted from the point. Shot scores! Mark Edward Vlasic, it's only his fourth of the season, but they don't come any bigger than that in the regular season. He finds a hole and drills it past Phoenix Copley. We're back to within one. And a seeing eye shot. You see, oh, what a athletic move that was by Derek Stepan out in front of Copley, taking the eyes away, jumping over that puck. Fogel, Zadorov at the point. Can't get a shooting lane, and here comes the Ducks. It's a two on one. Step on shot, same made by Copley. Inside the zone, can't make a play on it. Giordano comes back the other way. Down the left side, stops up. Trocek, a shot, same made by Gibson. Duclair looking for a break that's poked out of his reach. Devontae is going to move it back in. Goes across, Sorelli, shot, scores! Anthony Sorelli double dips once again in Anaheim, California. Second goal of the night. And it adds a little bit more cushion late in this game. But a strong play through the middle of the ice. Duclair looking for a break. Puck is poked out just out of his reach. And Devontae drives the zone the other way. Finds Sorelli a funny bounce out front. Might have thrown Gibson off track a little bit. And Sorelli goes posting in. Chance for Anaheim, Dante Heinen stops up, looking for Flurry, save made by Copley, right down Main Street. He gets a blocker on it, here's another shot, rebound, scores! <laughs> Troy Terry, side of the net, picks up the rebound, and he is left unchecked as the Voyagers were looking to transition down ice, and he has a pretty decent angle to put that one by Phoenix Copley. We're back to 3-2. To Face off to the left of John Gibson. Trocek, he's really good on the draw. We'll see if he can win it here. He does. Back to Hoffman. Moving in. Save made by Gibson. It leaks behind him. But he's able to reach back and freeze the puck. Now it's Vincent Trocek to Hamilton. Moving in. Save made. It goes behind Gibson. And it stays out. On this power play, Hamilton looking for something. Goes to Trocek, goes for a shot. Hamilton, Schmaltz, he's got time. Rebound by Landeskog. And that's stopped by Gibson, side of the net. Landeskog, he's tripped up. And there will be another penalty coming to the Anaheim Ducks. But it won't matter as Vincent Trocek gets his first as a Voyager. And that is a power play goal. The Voyagers will remain on the power play. And the faceoff man himself picking up a goal and gives Subri again some breathing room. A little insurance policy never hurt anyone. And this power play unit will remain on the ice. Bumped at the line, Mika Zabanejad. Can move it down ice to Anthony Sorelli. Connor Brown. Inside the zone, and on Sam Steele, Sorelli looking for the hat trick, denied by Gibson. Behind the net, it's played back out to Zabanejad, moving in. Can't get a shot away. 45 seconds left to play in the third period. Left side, Heinemann stops up, looking for Lindholm, a shot that is shot down by Copley. That one going five hole. 
And clock winding down in the third period. It's a 4-2 Voyagers lead. Schmaltz with a shot, goes again, but that'll do it. The Voyagers walk away with two points in California. And it was a spectacular team effort. I mean, there's just some nights, nothing works, and that was the opposite. Everything worked for this team, and they come away with a convincing victory.